Hello and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to find some neat fonts like this one I've got here on my artboard and also how to add them into Adobe Illustrator for you to use. This one here is called Dakota and I found this one on a, a website called Fontspace. Uh, this one's really cool because there's all sorts of fonts that get uploaded to this website. Um, some are for commercial use allowed and some are not so be sure you check. There are ways to filter out so you can only get commercial use fonts, which is what I've done. So I have it just as commercial use. So all of these, like it'll show here, these ones are like 100% free. So you can go ahead and use those. Um, so be sure you check that before you go and use a font. But say I like this one, I want to go ahead and download it. I'm going to go ahead and click that. should give you a zip file to go ahead and open. So I'm going to show it in my folder locations. And it should pop up like in your downloads as well. I'm going to go ahead and extract the files from this folder. I want to select a location to store it. So when I save it, Adobe Illustrator knows where to pull it from. You can save this anywhere on your PC. It doesn't really matter. I suggest making a folder called fonts. So if you're doing a bunch of different fonts, you can go ahead and put them all in the same place. So it's all right there. And then once you've done that, go ahead and hit extract. And then once you have extracted the files, go to that folder that you saved them to. So in my case, it'd be my fonts folder. And you can see I've done a couple different fonts here. So like the Dakota one I talked about is right here. And this one is the one we just did, Attack Graffiti. There are a couple different versions. Um, typically, it's because they have like different tweaks within the font styles. But you can go ahead and install them both if you like, and you'll get different versions of them. So up here, there's an install button. So you're going to go ahead and click on that one. I've already installed this, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of it. But go ahead and hit install. It'll take a couple seconds to go ahead and give you like a little loading bar. It doesn't take too long. Then you can go ahead and close it out and then jump right back into Illustrator and it should pop up for you. So say I'm going to go ahead and type something. I'll just use the stock font that they auto propagate for now. Go to your character icon and then go ahead and hit your drop down to select your fonts. And you can see this is under my recently used. But if it's not located there, you can go ahead and keep scrolling and then they will be alphabetized down below and you should be able to find it there. And just like that, you now have new font in Adobe Illustrator that you can use for whatever you like. Also, if you do not see it located there uh, in your fonts, go ahead and reload the Illustrator program and then it should pop up for you. So thanks for tuning in for the video today. Feel free to like and subscribe for more content like this. And also leave comments down below for any questions you may have. Uh, and happy designing!